In part A, we need to construct the second stationary state. So in order to do that, we need three ingredients. So the first thing we need is the Xi-naught, the zero stationary state. The second thing we need is the ladder operator, A+, plus, which is equal to this. So this is just two ways of writing out the same thing. And the third of all, we need this formula. So the nth stationary state is given by this formula. So in our case, we're looking for the second stationary state. So that means our formula is going to look something like this. So you have your 2 factorial a square xi naught. So now in order to find xi2, which is what we're looking for, let's try to evaluate this component first. Let's try to apply a plus to xi naught two times, and let's see what we get. So to start off, let's just start off with the first, uh, tra start off with applying the first operator first. So this expression, we have these constants out here. So this is the a plus operator, and then we're going to apply this to xi naught, which is equal to m omega divided by pi h one fourth e to the power of negative m omega two h x squared. So you see that this is really just a case of annoying differentiation. We just need to differentiate this e over here thanks to this expression here. So let's just pull out all the constants first. So these constants will just be getting in our way. So in the end, we have negative h d dx applied to the e over here, and then just m omega x multiplied by the e expression. And then taking the derivative here, you see that this is e to the power of something, so we just apply the chain rule. So we retain this term, and then we differentiate this term here in the power. So the 2 just comes down over to the, as a coefficient, so in the end we get negative m omega h x. So this is what the derivative is going to turn into. So you see that this negative sign, they cancel each other out, so that in the end we arrive at this expression. So you, you can also see that the h bar they also cancel out, which is always a good thing. So in the end we have m omega x times e to the power of negative m omega 2 h x squared. And then as you can see, that's exactly equal to the second half, the other term over here. So we get two of these terms. So this is the expression for a plus sine naught. So recall that we need to plus find a plus square sine naught. So we need to apply the a plus operator to this expression again. So let's do just that. So now we need to find a plus, a plus square sine naught. So we're just going to apply the a plus operator to this expression. So first of all, I'm going to pull out the constants. You can see that there is already one of these uh, square root uh, expressions here. So you're going to add another one. So in the end, we're going to have all these constants out here. So this time, the square root is gone because we have two of these expressions now. So m omega pi h one fourth, and then once again we have the negative h d dx plus m omega x applied to this expression here in the brackets. And then we can actually also pull out this 2m omega, so if we pull this out, you can see that it fa thankfully it cancels out with these constants as well. So the only one that survives is the h bar. So the term that we're going to apply the operator to will be x e to the power of negative m omega 2 h bar x squared. So the procedure is just pretty similar to what we had before. So I have negative h bar d dx, this time we apply it to this function over here. And then you see that this is different from last time because we have an x over here. Last time we did not have an x over here, so this is going to be slightly more complicated. And then we're just going to multiply these terms together. So we have x squared, negative m omega 2h squared. So doing the derivative, we're going to use a product rule. So we're going to take the derivative of x first, which is just equal to 1. And then we're going to keep the other term. And then this time we're going to keep the x, and then we're going to take the derivative of this term, which is exactly what we just did before. We apply the chain rule, so we get negative m omega hx. 
so you can see there are two x's over here so you get an x square so if you combine these terms together you can actually see something that looks pretty nice so we have a negative h bar multiplied to this e expression over here and then this time we have a, another expression we have this negative sign this other negative sign so it becomes a plus and then this h bar cancels out with this h bar as well so in the end we get m omega x square e to the power of negative m omega 2h 2h x square which is equal to this term over here so we get two of these terms and you can see that something uh, pretty similar happened last time so we after applying the ddx we got a term that's pretty similar to the term that's trailing behind and we got a 2 over here so you kind of see a parallel between the two cases but here we can we're essentially done all we have to do is just to do a bit of further simplification so a neat way to group your answers will be to keep this constant on the outside and then put the h bar on the inside so we get 2 and omega divided by h bar x square minus 1 because the h bar cancels out and then we're going to pull the e term outside and uh, so this is the expression for a plus square xi naught and then we call uh, we're doing all this just so we could find xi2 and then xi2 we need to so we found this expression over here so to arrive at xi2 we need to divide our our answer with 1 over the square root of 2 factorial so 2 factorial is just equal to 2. So in the end we see that the second stationary state is one is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 multiplied by the gigantic expression that we just derived. So uh, this is your answer. This is the second stationary state.